Okay, YouTubers, vertical wind turbine. So, we do have success. It's only six knots of wind, real light, and as you can see, it's actually turning. It wasn't turning until 18 miles an hour the last time. Uh, just the thing. Now, with the arms on here, you get a hold of this thing. With the arms on here, the weight, extended amount of weight that we put on, it takes a lot more force of the wind to turn it, but actually doing pretty good six miles an hour right now roughly with the time delay from the anemometer six to ten spinning it was doing earlier i saw it last night when the winds just started to pick up at five miles an hour is the actual when they start to spin just like that so it's it'll start at five and then it'll increase as the winds pick up but it's still when it's hitting i think it was hitting the high i think oh yeah 23 was the high at 23 that thing before would spin pretty fast and now it's with the extra weight uh you know it is quite a bit of weight with the arms and the, the wings and everything so it's not spinning faster than it was before so uh it's just starting to spin again back down to five knots it's going but we'll see and uh see what the peak was the uh Inverter didn't show any production of power. It did kick on, I can tell, because the little meters lit up, but that's it. So, who knows, next modification may be to bring the arms in closer uh, to lose weight and somehow reduce more weight. Uh, I could also, also take those aluminum bands to hold the blades together, take those off, reduce the weight there too, and see what happens. Uh, not much more I can do to this thing. Besides that generator, the generator is just too hard to turn, you know, even with it not wired, it's free spinning and it's just not enough uh, power in the wind to turn that 4K generator. It's too big for that uh, design. So here it is. It's March 25th, 930 in the morning. It's a little cool out, 44 degrees out or 40 degrees outside here. That's at seven, seven knots now. You can see a little anemometer spinning around pretty quick. So the winds are kicking up here right now. It's gonna be a time delay on here. Uh, yep. Some gust winds right there. And that's it. It runs smoothly. And I'm very surprised. Really no wobble. Uh, so I don't see the thing tearing itself apart even in high winds. I'm hoping later today it's supposed to be over 20, 20 mile an hour winds. So I'm sort of hoping to see this thing do something, you know. I'll come out here and check to see if it's got any wobble to it going up and down. So that was, yeah, it was a gust. Gust of 17 right there. So... It's pretty steady now. But that's all you get. <clears throat> Wouldn't be bad if I had a geared system ratio to the flywheel, to a pulley, to the generator to bring that speed up quite a bit. But that's all the energy I'm getting out of this thing for now. So that's at uh, 18 now, peaking. So it's supposed to be steady later, real heavy wind. So hopefully that works. That's it for now. Not much more modifications I can do to this thing. I, like I said, to lose weight, uh, cut the arms, bring them halfway in. That's eliminate half the weight for the arms. Uh, I could end up taking the end plates off again and just having the blades by themselves, the airfoil blades. But uh, I don't know. My wife doesn't like me now as it is with the loss. She's like, oh, dude, it's just worthless. I'm like, it is, but it was a fun project. So, and uh, I'll have to move on to a three-bladed bird shredder type uh, wind turbine. So, all right, any suggestions? Fire away, man. Let's hear it from around the world. See if we can make this uh, thing do something. All right, peace out.